goals, tasks, everything that goes with building a business and staying on point. So for me, I still struggle with this a little bit today. I get overwhelmed with every little thing I've got to get done in the day. And I recently was taking it back to the basics, right? Focusing on the top three things that I need to get done for today. And then if I get just those three things done, nothing else matters, right? Getting back to the basic kiss. The KISS model, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. We overcomplicate so much. And there's, there was a video I watched recently talking about simple solves the complex, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Don't overthink it. Don't set some crazy ass goal that you could never achieve because all of a sudden you sit down to like start building out a plan for it and it's just so overwhelming that you do Nothing. I did that for years, right? So now I'm trying to get back to the basics, focus on three things. If I do these three things consistently on a daily basis, they're gonna move the needle, right? And a lot of those are making your calls. Because if you don't make your calls, you're not going to have any business. Follow up with your current deals and learning. Do something that's gonna educate you, something that's gonna move your, your life forward on a daily basis, right? Reading, reading, like 10 pages a day. You realize that like 10 pages a day, the end of the month, you're gonna have read a 300 page book. That's 12 books a year. Do you think after 365 days, you're gonna be like in a better place if you read 12 books this year? And that's very, it's very easy to do 10 pages a day, but when you pick up a book and look at a 300 page book and go, how the fuck am I gonna read that? Break it down. Break it down into bite-sized pieces. So back to goals and the breaking down of the goal, right? So can you give us an example of something? Let's say it's maybe your website. How, do you, how would you break that into a, a 90 day goal? But to build it out? Have it built out and ready to go in like 90 days, right? Something I have no idea. Pay someone else <laughs> to do it. Honestly, some of the biggest goals you could have in life, you, you realize that you just need to leverage them, right? Like I see so many agents, oh my God, I gotta go, I, I've gotta create this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Guess what? What does it cost to have someone else do it, right? Highest and best use of your time. Is my best time going out and finding all the pictures that are gonna go on my website? Like, my first couple years in, in this industry, I, I wasted way too much. Oh, I'm gonna find the perfect picture. Like, the picture's gonna make somebody sign up on my website? No, giving somebody valuable content, right? That's more important. Making sure you have relevant content on your website about the local area, about attractions, things that are gonna keep people on your website, right? right? Do we have that mastered? Absolutely not. Are we starting to work on it? Sure we are, right? And, and that's one of those things where I don't have an end goal. I just know we need to get started and stay consistent with it. And sometimes those are the best goals. It's not necessarily there's, there's ever an end, right? That's like my sobriety. Like I'm never gonna reach like, I'm sober. sober. I'm sober today, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. Like I couldn't just fast forward and like all of a sudden, like everything's done. Like you gotta just keep trudging the road, like putting the work in on a daily basis. And that's where 99% of the people fail. It's that C word that everyone hates. It's not that C word that you're thinking of. Consistency. And that's what most people lack. Today we're looking at what? Up oh, 12 days after the first of the year. Guess what? How many people are still going to the gym? Most habits are probably gone for a lot of people, right? They were all in there January 1st though, or the second, but staying consistent, only doing a little bit each day, like getting 1% better than you were yesterday, that's all you gotta do, 1% each day. By the end of the year, you've increased by 365% over where you were the year before. 
would you, would you think that's moving the needle a little bit, right? But if I said January 1st, I'm going to increase by 365% this year, nothing's going to happen. Overwhelm sets in immediately, and what do people do when they get overwhelmed? Nothing. 